India's general election kicks off on April 19, and it will be the biggest vote the world has ever seen. It is a mammoth six-week process to gather everybody's votes, with most people expecting Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his Hindu nationalist Bharatiya Janata Party to win yet again. So why does it take so long? Almost one billion people are registered to vote. That's more than 10% of the world's population. We have 97 crore uh, registered voters. More than the combined voters of uh, a few com continents put together. America, Zero, uh, Australia, all many put together. So voting takes a long time and is pretty complicated. One million polling stations need to be installed across the country some in densely populated cities and others in far-flung villages. That means 15 million polling and security officials travelling across the country's deserts, mountains, rivers and jungles, sometimes by foot, train, helicopter, boat, horse and even elephant, to try and reach every voter. And instead of paper ballots, people in India will be voting on 5.5 million electronic machines. Electoral rules say there must be a polling station within 1.2 miles of every home. In a country like India, that can be pretty difficult. In December 2022, India's election commission set up a polling station for only one voter in the dense jungles of gear for the Gujarat elections. This video from April shows 188 security personnel being airlifted and scaling snow-capped mountains to reach voters in Kishwa for the elections. Votes will be cast over six weeks so that security staff can get to the different locations in time to guard the polling stations. And the actual voting happens on seven polling days, called the seven phases, with different constituencies in India voting at different times. Phase one may so two constituencies, phase two may 89, phase three may 94, Phase 4 may 96, 49, 57, 57. People receive a mark of purple ink on their index finger after voting to show they have cast their ballot. The results are finally expected on the 4th of June. Voters are electing 543 members for the lower house of parliament, meaning any party or coalition would need to hit the magic number of 272 seats to form a government. There are huge indications that Modi's BJP and its coalition, the National Democratic Alliance, will win an overwhelming majority. A coalition of opposition parties has also come together, led by the Congress party, to challenge the Prime Minister. So it'll be several weeks before we know if Modi and the BJP have won a third consecutive term in charge of one of the world's biggest electorates.